funny. I was supposed to go to Madrid, but then I was filming this movie, so I could only go to Madrid. I'll go to Madrid one day. Rosa Camazo, Telecinco. How? That name. Say it again. Say it again. Again. The director just told me the same thing. Is Kay here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I just yeah. interviewed her. She's she's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so how how did you guys get involved in the project? Uh, auditions. auditions. Yeah. Yeah, we all auditioned. I mean, reading the script, I, I there's not a lot of roles for girls my age that felt like a a real a real person. Mm -hmm. She's not just a daughter. She has her own things yeah. that she's going through, and it's a coming of age story that. Um, was told through the perspective of a woman. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty cool to, I really wanted to be a part of the project. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now watching it, I watched it for the first time last night and I'm so proud. It is so funny. <laughs> it's so funny and it's just good. It was, it's a good movie. It's really cool to be a part of like a good film. That's and I got good. two like good friends out of it. So. Uh, that's that's a real win-win. <laughs> yeah. It is. Uh, so I assume that you guys went to prom, all of you? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah. So any simi similarities <laughs> with the film or not really? I, think the I number wore a black dress and red lipstick to my prom. That's so nice. Like I, I think but, oh, it's, it's, a a classic it's a classic look. You can't go wrong. Can't no. go wrong. Yeah. My dress was $5 from Goodwill though, so. Oh wow, that's what? awesome. That's of course it was. That's I know. So, best clothes. Yeah. I think the number one thing that was similar to my prom was that it was an experience that I could only share with my friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I'll never forget it, you know? Your friends know you so well. Yeah. Um, I had a limo. That's the same. <laughs> oh! I rented a limo and took it to the formal with my friends. Man, I Hell really yeah. wish I went to prom with you guys. We had a party bus and so. no one had fun on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so, because you're like confined. That's so awkward. That awkward. <laughs> Blasting music and everybody's sitting down. Everyone's like, ooh. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm from Spain and we don't do the prom thing yeah. there. I don't think in Europe anybody mm -hmm. does it. Yeah. So, um,. Is there any kind of pressure to to actually have sex on prom night, or is kind of like? Uh, I mean, it definitely was a conversation that yeah. girls had it when at my prom. Uh, definitely, like, I know a few people that lost their V cards on prom night. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's really nice to be able to talk like, about it. Or like you just have sex with your date on prom, but no, it wasn't really a conversation for my group. I, we won as like a big friend group, and we we're just like at prom. Yeah. And no one was like, no. <laughs> sex, no. No, that was not a conversation for me. <laughs> uh, maybe it's different. Maybe it's more of an American thing of like, sex on prom night. Because I've heard of that before. Prom is very romanticized in America. Yeah. It's I had the one, I had a girlfriend who was Julie. She had a boyfriend that she had been with for years. She had the hotel booked for after oh, wow. prom. <gasps> she went to McDonald's after prom. You know, she had it all so play romantic. by play, like a schedule. And so oh that God, was kind of I who know. I embodied for Julie. And um, so, yeah, and I, I think that it, that it was a very true telling. It feels very relatable to, yeah, for yeah, me yeah. Yeah. and my high school experience. Are, are, you, are your parents overprotecting or are they more um, laid back? Or? My, I mean, my character and Leslie Mann plays my mom and our relationship, she's a single mom who's like, her daughter's going to college and she's growing apart. So it was nice to hear a story where they have to talk about it and have a conversation about it, and um, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice for people to see something like that and say, I can do it too, mm -hmm. which is cool. Do you guys think that um, women's sexuality these days is, like, is more accepted, is more like we can do whatever, whatever yes. we want without being I judged, or still a little? I think we're getting there. I don't yeah. think we're fully there, but I think there's definitely more of like a I'm gonna do this and you're not gonna judge me. And if you judge me, I think women are not afraid to say, F you, I don't know if I can cuss right now. <laughs> but like they're not afraid to say like, go fly a kite if you don't like what this I'm doing. This movie, it kind of questions like, one of my favorite parts of the movie is a scene that I, like, I can't say, but it's, it's about like, is sex bad? Like why mm. is it so bad? And it answers that question and everyone's like, I don't know why it's so bad. Why is it acceptable for is girls guy, to... Why is it acceptable for guys and not yeah. for girls? Yeah, why is it so bad for a girl to have sex? Yeah. Why is it? You know what I mean? Like that stigma? Yeah. And we kind of play with that and, and try to answer that. Mm. I, I just, I'm just guessing that maybe it's not that it's good or bad, but men tend to judge 
a woman that yeah. is easy. It's like because they like hunting sex. and they want somebody that takes exactly. forever to oh. be hunted, which is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it'll be Bye. like, oh, like she's a whore because she had sex with two people, but he had sex with four people, and no one's gonna say anything yeah, about it. That's, but that's there's a double standard. Yeah, one of the characters is ready to have sex. You know, one of them isn't, and then one of them realizes that she's gay, and it's like that can be relatable for so many people, and they're mm -hmm. all true to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is nice. It's yeah. about finding your own path and yeah. what you want to do making your own decisions mm -hmm. which and is why it's so empowering it's like film. a coming of age story with your parents as well mm. but you guys kind of understand that being a mom I'm, I'm I don't have kids but being a mom and, and if you have a, a girl you're a little more worried than if you have a boy yeah mm -hmm. that's but, what they say that's yeah. what they say in the movie but um, it shouldn't be like that no it shouldn't but I, I'm, I'm trying to wonder why is that because you think that maybe you're not so much like, oh, she's, she's a slut, but she can get pregnant or something. Right. I think that's of the course. reason behind it, because other than that, it, what's the difference between a boy and having a, a boy or a girl? I don't know, <laughs> but that's just how we've kind well, of Well, there raised. shouldn't, I mean, I understand that difference, but there shouldn't be, a, well, there's always gonna be some differences, but I don't think there should be huge differences. I mean, I grew up in a house with three girls, so. There's mm -hmm. always worries. Or it could be also because I think women in general are more more emotional and they might suffer more with the like breaking relationships. Up with the guy. But that's what I think that's necessarily right. I feel like I mean I think the whole thing of like the difference between like yeah being worried about a guy and being worried about it, 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 we're getting to a time now where women can feel more safe in the world. But like I mean yeah with Me Too and Times Up and stuff they're it's clear that it's hard to be a woman mm -hmm. in this world. I think and it's trying to, we're trying to change yeah. that it's, stigma. Yeah. This and a movie does that. No movies talk about it. Maybe that's why it's been like that so long. No one's talking about it. Yeah. And this movie's starting the conversation. And I'm excited for a time where like a movie where like young women are talking about their sexuality like isn't subversive. And that's just like normal. I you wish know? this movie was out when I went to prom. Yeah. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Because um these three characters are gonna make a difference, I I'm think. I'm glad my sister gets this movie when she's going to prom this year. So. And you never think about yeah. that. When we're making the movie, none of us were like, oh, this is going to be so important. And we, yeah. I, I still don't feel that way now, but the way people are reacting to the film is really cool to see. It's really cool to see that people care and awesome. are feeling something. Girl power. Yeah, girl power. <laughs> Aw. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.